Kapow. Uh, well, welcome uh, to Kapow. Uh, today we have with us writer, producer, director, editor, Mike Hay uh, of the animated uh, music video, Even the Rats. Hey, Chris. Yes. Nice to meet you. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's an evening for you in, uh, in the UK. Yeah, well, it's almost just, evening. Uh, just I'm in Scotland, so it's just oh, after Scotland. 6 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you're, your oh, evening is it's cold. It's cold now yeah. there, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're getting hit with plenty of snow just now. <laughs> yeah, kids making an igloo outside well. yeah see i thought so um so, so yeah welcome uh love your music video amazing amazing work uh yeah so uh yeah my question um what was your inspiration for this music video how did it all got to happen like that uh well after the first one which was kind of came about by necessity and, and a bit of luck, mm -hmm. uh, which was actually in Kapow. The very first thing I ever did was a Thursday Night Basic, which you guys took yeah. on as well, which was brilliant. Uh, that kind of um, got me going in a bit of the visual effects side of things. Yes. So I just wanted to plunge a little bit further into that and uh, just went into more of the CGI stuff and used that as a means to try and big, build like a bigger visual story. Yeah. Uh, I loved the first experience, but that was like very much in the house, isolated around the house mm -hmm. with visual effects dropped into real footage. This one, I thought, just make a trippy story, psychedelic sort of um, space journey. Uh, basically, it was, a, it was an, an excuse to celebrate skulls and then yeah. I was thinking about making it kind of psychedelic, moving through morphing shapes and, and psychedelic colors. But I think there's something that keeps happening where any ideas I get, I start building a narrative around it. Mm -hmm. um, so anything you do in Z CGI or VFX is going to take you weeks and weeks and weeks worth of work. So the story can kind of evolve anyway. Yeah, because was, you hit to an, a certain effect and like, oh, wow, what happens if I do this? You know, yeah. because you're just so, still creating, exploring. Yeah, so I mean, it was like um, the idea of the skull being an artifact yeah. or discovered by something. So some of the visual content, say, where there's a bit in a temple where there's like almost like neon high uh, symbols lighting up in the yeah. skull, that kind of would have been one of the earlier um, kind of visual ideas and then you kind of realize all oh, right this could be something else so then you kind of work forwards and backwards if you know what i mean yeah. so the story it's a very it's a very organic way of working yeah I because thought, uh, it, it's you're you're taking so long to build the story and build the build all the assets and all the visual effects that was very beautiful you, you'll see your color choices and it was was just so fluid how everything went yeah. um Thank you took you probably a long time because I know I do editing, I do a special, you know, I've been also learning the, the special effects and uh, yeah. you know, it's time consuming. I wonder, like one, like on what software did you do this on and how long did it take you? Um, it, now, I don't know if this is a badge of honor or a badge of shame, because if I meet somebody in visual effects, uh, it's, a, it's about 1800, over 1800 hours, I think. Yeah, that, but like I say, I don't know, is that, a, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, so, no, it's totally not a bad yeah, thing. Uh, uh, I know in creativity, we, we, we get carry, uh, you know, we get carried it away in our whole journey. Yeah. And time is no, when we create, there is no time. You cannot say like, oh, from nine to five, I'm going to, my job will be finished. No, when you create, you create, we lose time. Yeah, so, I, I'd say about, I would say about two months into the journey. I yeah. realized, okay, I had the narrative, I had the idea, it's going to be like a discovery and it's going to evolve. And then the, yeah. the, like the, the humanoid, the, you know, the black yeah. colored humanoid touches the skull and that triggers memories of where the skulls come from. And yeah. then it, so it becomes a trigger to transform him and other things around it. So basically, yeah, allowing that to then kick in in about eight weeks. So bizarrely enough, I started building the skull assets myself in ZBrush. 
-hmm. if you're wanting to know about some of the stuff I used, it was in ZBrush, and then I'm assembling most of it in After Effects, and uh -huh. then using uh, After Effects as a you know, plugin called Element 3D. Mm -hmm. Like so, Andrew Kramer, everybody uses his stuff, um, the video co-pilot stuff. So it was really using a mix of After Effects with Element 3D, ZBrush for creating some of the assets, the 3D assets, Blender, which is the big powerful platform for yeah. shattering some of the assets that you can then animate and all that sort of good stuff. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, just this building all the color and stuff and After Effects and then cutting it in Premiere Pro. And, um, but yeah, again, it was, a, it was another idea where I'd created this piece of music and wanted to do like visuals for that piece of music. So exactly. it's become, yeah, it's become a bit of a passion where if I have an idea to do something, I can do it all. But it's not, it's like a DIY thing, not an ego thing. It's kind of a necessity because of where I live in Scotland, I'm kind of isolated from others. Um, and I guess part of the other thing is, is, is getting going with this because the first video opened up a lot of doors and got a lot of conversations going. This new video, even the rats, um, there's a, a filmmaker, composer, Emmy award winning guy in Philadelphia. Um, and he reached out to me because of even the rats and we've cut, we've co-written a bit of music and now working on another video content for it. Yeah. So the, the DIY thing kind of works, it, you know, instead of sitting there thinking, I'd rather have this guy do some animation for me because I'm a bit of a generalist jack of all trades. So you learn on the fly and you're learning a bit of animation, but then you don't want to go too far into it. So you mm -hmm. just do what's sort of comfortable and then just take it one step at a time over a very long time, you know? <laughs> and the, the thing is that like, the more you do it, the faster you become with certain things, you know? And uh, you yeah. know, in the beginning you explore so much. First. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, I, uh, you know, I really enjoyed it, just the flow, the colors. Uh, just from the start already, it felt like, oh, man, I'm in a sci-fi movie, you know, and then you know, everything developed, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the feel of the music with the, with the images uh, gave me that whole, um, you know, that fast beat cyberpunk vibe. Yeah, cool. Thank you. I mean, the music, I specifically chose... The thing I regret is check, choosing a song that was about six minutes long. So next time, pick something a bit shorter because every second literally counts in, in hours yes. and days or whatever. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to pick a piece of music that was, um, it wasn't first chorus, first chorus. It, it built and built and built. More of a scoring. Then, yeah. yeah. And then I, I played it for somebody, a musician friend of mine who went and his takeaway was really great. Um, he said when he was watching it, it was so mesmerizing, it became one. Yeah. He wasn't aware of the music on its own and he wasn't aware of the visuals. It was just this thing and it just, so I, you know yourself, you say you, you, you make music yeah. videos yourself. Yes. I have no objective opinion on it, whether it's any good or not, because you spend so much time. You look at it and you think about the things you like to fix or improve. Mm -hmm. So you really just throw it out there and, and let others decide whether they're into it or not. And yeah. Thankfully, some folks seem to be. It's been really cool. Yeah, because we, we see the uh, we see just the, the thing you created over months, you know, and, yeah. and we see it coming by in a few minutes. Yeah. Uh, and we just, yeah, the two things that's for me too, you know, I, I'm very music driven. That's was my first, that's always been my first passion. And then I started doing music and films, but those are important to me. They blend. And it is in your case, it was, yeah, the music blended well mm -hmm. with, uh, with your visuals. And that's why I said, how hey, man, this is like really this cyberpunk. Right. Kind of cool. vibe. And, uh, yeah. and, that, and that fit just awesome with, with those images. Yeah, um, well, sorry, go on. No, no, I just, just I, I was just, uh, I want to say, I'm just, I'm just amazed by it. Like, uh, I know how much work that is. And then for you being uh, all there and then by yourself and then have all these mm -hmm. ideas, but it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just beautiful. Um, also, yeah, you, you made the poster. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, well, that, that's the easy bit because you're, you're, you've made so much of the visual content. Uh, yeah. To me, doing all the the posters and stills becomes easy. Uh, yeah. So it, it seems really cheeky, or it seems really 
strange. I mean, your intro was lovely, but to call myself a filmmaker took a long time. It took me a year to sort of get used to the idea. Or they call yourself a producer or call yourself a writer. But I suppose it is a story. I suppose I did create the story. Mm-hmm. And, I, and then I got one of the wars of one is visual effects and design. And I'm thinking, well, I, I guess I did design it. Yeah. yeah so you're, you're, all I'm thinking is of, of putting a story together. And then you realize after the fact, well, I suppose that, that term and that title belongs to that endeavor, that part of it. You know, yeah. it's, it's kind of strange, but you're, you're, wearing, you're wearing so many different hats, I guess. Yeah, and I think I've, I don't want to stretch myself too far or too thin because you can't be good at everything. Mm-hmm. So I've, I've reached my limits for this one. This is about as far as I'll go. Bob, you reached them very well, though. <laughs> yeah, the quality, the quality was there, and uh, I, I, I will believe that. Now you have already people reaching out to you for uh, animation work, like what you do. You know, uh, compared with like other composers, and so because I see the same thing. It's it's really well done. Two and a half years ago, I had no idea. Again. Uh, the first thing I did with you guys, um, Thursday Night Basic, which was my little love letter to John Carpenter. Yes. <laughs> kind of stuff. Uh, again, about transformation. I don't know if there's a growing theme here. But, um, yeah, that that was a... I wonder if I can do something that will promote this bit of music and then go back to the album I was writing, get that out there, and it'll do some promo. But then the video took off way more than I ever expected. and. Unfortunately, I've never been able to get back and finish that particular album's worth of material. So it's kind of like song by song. So then I immediately got the idea for even the rats because the other song was ready to go as well. And I just leapt straight into doing the visuals for it. And it was bigger in scope and scale, but then I got better at the visual effects side of it. Um, That first video took me out to a a great festival in Croatia, um, the uh, International Sound and Film Music Festival. Yeah, I met loads of composers and stuff, and so I was the only sort of rock metal guy there. Mm-hmm. Um, and these were all proper, proper film composers working in TV, and but they really took me under their wing because I was just seen as a fellow musician. Yeah, um, and then that led to this guy Patrick Decomet. He's a really talented Emmy Award-winning um, film composer, and he reached out to me last summer and says, "Hey, Mike, let's write a piece of music together." So. So thankfully, I didn't do all the music on that one. So it's something we've co-written, and but I'm doing all the visuals for it. So. Well, that's what I see and feel like. You will probably get more collaborations uh, out of this one. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, to be honest, the the whole thing what I'm doing, I'm not trying to win any awards or anything like that. Just uh, getting conversations with somebody like yourself, Chris, or, or anybody who just wants to reach out and it, just to bounce ideas off or. Um, other folk at media festivals I can get in touch with them and just say hey I, I wouldn't mind doing something like this do you know somebody who would maybe help out or be a good fit for mm-hmm. just getting a conversation going yeah it's good that's amazing and regarding your your, your music so um, what do you use uh, besides your amazing guitar work uh, but like your your recording or your DAW program but like well, what are you um, well, it's not up and running here, but it's, it's the Mac and stuff. But yeah, it's Pro Tools. Yes. Pro Tools is my rig of choice. Um, um, so Valve mics, uh, got the Jackson 8 string here. So this is the. Nice. This tends, the, this tends to be the major thing that's doing all the sort of low end beef yeah. in the guitars. Uh, diesel amps, uh, plug in, uh, synths. Yeah. It, just all of it. Yeah, I know but you. Yeah, pro, tools, pro Tools for the most. Yeah. Yeah. And, That's uh, Reason as well. Reason's great. Okay, use Reason as well. Nice. Yeah, synth, I love, I mean, in that particular track, there is some synth stuff going on. Yeah. Um, I love any synth music as well. So samples. Like That's stuff. also. Um, what I see and also with your video work, you know, it links is also because cyberpunk is pretty diverse, like with music choices. It's all with 
combination with the visual and the music will tell yes. that cyberpunk uh, feel. It has after that rawness, like what, what we hear in your track, you know, like, uh, and the speed, uh, but also like a synth work. So I'm also yeah, very yeah. curious in your future work, like the rock meets the synths and those visuals. Well, I, I love it. I, um, I'm, I've always said there's only two types of music I like. Music I like, music I don't like. And I love everything from Tom Waits through to, well, Meshuga would be the big influence because of the eight string guitars. Yeah. Uh, John Carpenter's uh, score work. So like yeah. good old five chord timing for synth music, mm -hmm. uh, strings, samples, DJ Shadow, love his ambient stuff. Um, no rules, just if, so if I, can, if I can find like a bit of a marriage between different styles, yeah. like I feel the, even the rats, the song starts off in a kind of angular punk type yeah. of discordant, uh, almost like Dillinger Escape Plan discordant chords. But then it moves into sort of maybe more the prog open side. Um, and then in the mid section, there's the sort of ambient kind of treatment of my vocals. And then it goes into almost like a Calypso Caribbean swing for yeah. the main riff at the end of the track. Yeah, and just, then it breaks down nicely. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, I it's so difficult. It's so difficult to say that you're doing original music these days, and you you kind of have to wear your influences on their sleeves. So, but for me, there's no rules in music anymore. There's such a no. Good, there's there's not cross pollination and sounds. Yeah. I love it all, and the more I can maybe. The more styles I can maybe smash together a little bit more and, and try and see what, what that come comes to. Yeah, that's that's what excites me. Yeah, like, I, I, I feel the same. Uh, I know back in the days when I was signed to the record labels, um, I had to, you know, you just could stay in this lane and that's it. That's what you're known yeah. for. Now, being independent, absolutely, whatever comes to mind, I can work with everybody I want. Do yeah. whatever I want, and as long as the music is cool and tells a story, feels the vibe, fits with the visuals, yeah. whatever, that is yeah. really fun. That freedom and like, also the instruments that we now have access to. Oh, but yeah, well, yeah te te the technology side of it. I mean, if you think of uh, ten years ago, I don't think I could have done this all on my own. And that's the you touch on a great point. Uh, Pro Tools is Pro Tools, but as far as like a, a studio setup goes, you can do everything in the box for yep. a few hundred dollars to, to a grand, depending on your budget. And a lot of the visual effects stuff you can do quite cheaply as well, you know. Um, and again, I the kind of music I come from is the DIY side of it. Um, and I think I touched on this. One of my favorite bands, Converge, they do loads of different things. So Jacob, the singer, does all the art direction, the art stuff. Kurt Balu, the guitarist, he's an amazing and, and well-renowned producer engineer himself in his own mm -hmm. right, and Luthier, and builds guitar pedals. Yeah. So all, it seems that in the 21st century, loads of folk are wearing different hats, and not out of ego, it's more just to stay creative. And I yes. find if I'm, working on, if I'm working on music, I'm really thinking of something visual, and I'm ready to jump into that visual idea. And then this latest thing hasn't taken me as long as even the rats has, but it, it's making me yearn to go back to musical ideas. So one maybe feeds the other a bit. I don't know. I don't yeah. know if you find that. Yeah, no, I, 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 I totally feel that. I see the same way. When we start composing or creating a song, uh, mm. this is with me too, I have already visuals that, that yeah. comes, comes along with it. So yeah. So that yeah, and I feel that and I see that in yours. So I, I cannot wait to see your future work and whatever styles you blend. Uh, I know it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Uh, well, really, um, is there so uh, what? What else uh, can we expect from you? Is there something happening right now? What are you uh, planning? Is there something new uh, happening? Um, well, like that piece of music I wrote with Patrick uh, last summer. Um, that'll be coming out. We're Patrick's doing the mix on it just now, uh, and I'm neck deep in the visual side of it. Yes. Uh, you, the word cyberpunk, so I'm very much leaning, we're leaning into that. So this is more like a social commentary one, but it's set in a dystopian city and it's got, it's, I'm leaning hard in the Blade Runner territory. Beautiful. But, <laughs> but I'm kind of spoofing well-known brands, so if anything, it's probably 
visually in tone, it's very much Blade Runner crossed with uh, Terry Gilliam's um, Brazil, with a bit of idiocracy thrown in for the for the consumerism side. So yeah, I don't know. I hopefully hopefully tonally it works, but uh, yeah. And then, but I definitely, I definitely want to pursue real filmmaking. Um, the first thing I did was on my little Black Magic camera last year. I invested in a Black Magic six K. Yeah. Great camera. So got, yeah, so I've got ideas for like short story, film short stories. Not something that this all seems to be building towards. And I think because I've done okay so far with the projects I've started and. Mm -hmm. Here I am with you guys. Um, it'll maybe put a little bit of trust in folks. So if, if I reach out to somebody and say, "Hey, I've got this idea for a short film. Do you want to be in it?" At least that they're not coming in cold, too cold, yeah. maybe. No, you, you're you're really uh, uh, like you see your works and what you've been doing, and yeah, you've been with us since your first video. Uh, you see the professionalism. You know, I can, can see. And definitely that will come across with other people that will like to work with you. So I know if you have an idea, you can reach out to people like, hey, you want to join this idea? And yeah. you start creating it. It's all about aligning with people that are in the same vibe. Yeah, like, absolutely. I'm not, and I'm not doing it, it will just flow. Yeah, I'm not doing this for the money. I'm not doing this for any other reason than just one foot in front of the other. Love it. I'd be doing it. I'd be doing it if I wasn't putting it into festivals anyway. Yeah. Well, this is this is amazing, uh, uh, man. I, I really want to thank you to to be part of our festival and uh, thank you for this uh, for this uh, interview. And uh, yeah, looking forward uh, to see it on the screening uh, on our festival. And uh, also thank looking forward for having me again. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, now it's uh, virtual. Uh, and hopefully, like I, I think you know, next year we will be back uh, doing it here, like in Hollywood, where you were last time. So, yeah. So, yeah, so yeah. that's uh, back and see you guys at some point. Yeah. Yeah. But we're we're happy to have you on board again, and uh, thank you again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, cool. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.